Hey, I hope everyone survived another week in the trenches. Um, let's talk real quick about the status of affairs as I know it. Um, from all everything I have, it uh, unless the governor comes forth and extends, then the current closure order will expire on Tuesday. Um, they have a reopening form by the Arizona Department of Health and Human Services that is out there. Um, I believe it stands as is. Big players such as Mountainside and EOS say that they are going to sign this form. I would suspect that we would do the same and um, if all things being equal then we should be open up next week as long as nothing happens through the gov lots of legal wrangling back and forth between lawyers and the governor and lawsuits and all that stuff so hey keep doing whatever you're doing and uh let's uh because it's working i think we're gonna open back up get some fitness going again um great job to those that are hitting these at homes and all so on and so forth it's not easy to get done and uh you will be happy that you did once we get that gym open back up hey let's talk about tomorrow's workout um we have a benchmark hero wad called dg so it's uh, on the shorter side and um which means that we want you to hit it really hard um, as hard as you can so it is a 10 minute AMRAP of toes to bar. We'll talk about some scales if you don't have a bar to do toes to bar on. Eight dumbbell thrusters designed to be done with two dumbbells and 12 dumbbell walking lunges. RX um, is a 35 pounder. Um, it's an oldie, doesn't have a women's weight. 20 would probably be appropriate for the ladies. Again, this should be feel light. We should, um, you should be able to cycle these pretty good. Toast bars are gonna get pretty spicy if you have a bar. Um, all right, let's talk about the uh, Firebird scaled version. Eight wall lying hands to feet. I have a couple different options of this stuff in there. So pick your poison, whatever you want. This wall lying hands to feet is you are um, scooching your bum close to the wall and feet or and legs up on the wall and then you are going to um, flex those abs and you're gonna come up and you're gonna tap those toes. Uh, wall lying hands to feet, okay? Eight dumbbell thrusters, 12 dumbbell walking lunges. If you only have one dumbbell, then you can uh, just use one dumbbell so an AMRAP just means you'll be able to go that much faster, that much harder, which is okay in this workout. Um, all right, so let's talk about home gym, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about the no measure midline. Um, so home gym version, for those that don't have a pull-up bar, you're gonna, or even maybe a good wall, um, or just a difference, right, a variance then you're gonna do 10 V-ups, eight dumbbell thrusters, 12 dumbbell walking lunges. Same thing, if you have two dumbbells, hit up, get on it. If you only have one, that's okay. Um, if you need to scale those V-ups back, you can bend the knees and just do kind of a, a dead bug style thing or just a bent knee V-up, more like a crunch. Okay. Let's talk about our midline madness. We're gonna do a little death by V up. So uh, if you're gonna do this midline madness, you're gonna be doing a whole bunch of V ups. You could do this before the wad, you could do this after the wad, right? Think about what you wanna get out of it. Pros and cons to both. Um, if we were in the gym, we would do this before we did the workout. But you're gonna do a V up every 30 seconds. So on three, two, one, and go, first 30 seconds, so we're gonna call that zero, you're gonna do one V up. And then at the 30 second mark, you're gonna do two V ups. One minute mark, three V ups. So every 30 seconds, you're adding a rep until you can't do it anymore. Now, we want you to get 
at least five minutes worth of work or try to get five minutes of work. So if you are unable to get the amount of reps in the 30 seconds, then I want you to go back um, and I want you to, um, wherever you were able to finish the reps, um, go back to that and you're gonna hold that for the remainder of five minutes, okay? Um, some scaling of that, um, you can bend the knees, um, double ankle taps over a dumbbell, um, and if you wanna scale up, then hold an object. Sometimes that object, you know, because you have some momentum, sometimes that object is a little bit easier. So, um, if you're gonna add some weight, maybe make it something that's super challenging. Okay, awesome. Everyone have a great weekend. I'm gonna try this a long one tonight. Staying under six minutes. Three, two, one, out.